all right so in this video of salesforce bytes we'll talk about how can we enable audit tracking or rather if i want to go to an object and if i want to make any changes to a record how do i track those changes right this helps in auditing and you know uh, for future purposes when there comes an issue on a record and you want to check what changes were made at what time and who made those changes right that's called audit tracking or auditing and this can be done on salesforce by history tracking of fields okay so we are on the contact object and we are taking a look at all the fields available here right let's say i want to always check who changes the department field and what is the change made right so i want to enable auditing or audit tracking on my department field that's on the contact object so what i have to do is i'll have to go to setup so i'll go to setup and here under setup let's switch to salesforce classic what i want to do is i want to enable field history for or enable tracking history for my contact object so i'll go to setup and here let's go to contacts and let's open the fields and here i should have an option to set history tracking right this option right here so when i click on this button this tells me to enable the contact history first so once i do that i have all the fields available that i want to track right so what was our field our field was department i'll just click on save now once i enable the contact history and i have check the department field my department field changes will be tracked now so if i just go ahead and refresh my page here i go to the detail section and i make a change to the department field right so i'll just call it inter internal operations mvp team right let me just call this and let's save it so this change will be tracked now where do i see this change so i should be seeing this change on my related page but i have to drag and drop a component that is the related list that's nothing but the activity history component or the activity history related list for contact so how do i do that again i'll go to contacts and i'll open the page layout what layout am i currently in i'm on the contact layout i i think i already know this is the contact layout or else i can check the page layout assignment i'll just click on the contact layout edit And here I can go to related lists and under the related list I have something that's called contact history right so I'll just drop in the contact history here on the top and I'll just say save so once I add contact history here which is not a customizable list but we can drag and drop it let me go back to our page layout here and let's see if our contact history section has come on come up so I see the contact history and if you notice, I see that the field department was changed by the user SF trainer and the original value was internal operations and the new value is this value that I set. And it also gives me a timestamp when I did it. So this is how you can use field tracking or history tracking on any object and you can track as many fields as you want. There are limits to, there is an upper limit to how many fields you can track but at max you can track 100 fields if you want to. If you want to do that, you'll have to raise a case with Salesforce and you can get your field tracking to be 100. So you can track 100 fields here and all of it will come under the contact history object here which would be on the related list section of the record. Make sense? Alright, great. Thank you.